Facebook shut down the news. That's interesting, isn't it? Like, that in Australia. So, I'll back up. There's the news media bargaining code, I think is what it is. And basically what it is, is uh, the News Corp is lobbying the Liberal government in Australia to make, to force Google and Facebook to pay for their news to News Corp and Nine Fairfax. Um, because there is more, uh, because they claim that it is to get make sure that they get paid for their content. They get to pay for Facebook and Google to pay for their content to be on, um, for their content to be on Facebook and Google. Um, now it's a here's a valid point and probably a proper counteraction point. Uh, they already get paid uh, on Facebook and Google. Uh, obviously, Google doesn't pay for people who are like there's like a small clause in the bargaining code where. Um, you know when you like search for the weather or you search for like who is Ray's global like who is Ray's parents who is um, what's the tennis Australian Open score um, when you Google that and you Google it and you don't even have to go to a website the thing just appears like in those boxes like that no no website gets paid for that click and I think Google has agreed to be paying for that for using that content to be on just the first click. And um, which I think is the right thing is if you're using the information, you should be paying for it. Um, that's about where it ends from my understanding, because basically from what I heard is that um, News Corp values its contributions to of Australian news to Facebook and Google as something, I believe it was a, a billion dollars or a hundred million. Um like that's what they value their their news articles and their the other things they put out their content they put out um what actually is happening is uh i think no sorry i was go double back a bit um google i think it was just google or google and facebook they valued how much news corp and like all of news put up in australia per annum um, what the value of that is, and I believe it came out to ten million dollars, from my understanding. Like, just please do not take this as fact. I have not researched this. This is my opinion, mixed with what I think is the right thing from things that I have heard from other podcasts and from the newspapers and just on the telly and on the websites and on Google and YouTube. Um, so yeah, there is there is that one, um, which is a vast overestimation. And if you, even if you go to, like, Channel 7 or Channel 9 or Sky News, I think Sky News has, like, the only respectable numbers. I'm actually going to double-check it now. Yeah, but if you go to, like, 7 News or 9 News, they, um... They, uh, have X amount of subscribers. Like, uh, heaps of subscribers. Um... Sorry, I'll look it up now. Sky News... 1.27 million subscribers. Um, uh, they post like mad, but they, um, you know, they vary between a few hundred views and a, yeah, they vary between like 60,000 and a few, uh, few, um, 60,000 and a few hundred views, usually. I mean, like, I'm just looking at, like, they haven't even, um, I don't know, I'm looking at, like, within the first 24 hours, there's, like, 40 videos. They're just posting everything, right? Um, if I go to channel 7, channel 7... 354,000 subscribers. They are barely cracking five to 10,000 views. Um, channel 9, 637,000 subscribers. They are, again, hitting somewhere between five and 30,000 views. 
Oh, sorry, three and thirty thousand views. It is just a, they are not definitely not a billion dollar company. They are ten million. Sounds like a fair assessment for all of, like at the very least YouTube. I reckon ten million is a fair assessment. Having a look at what their numbers are, even if they post nonstop after nonstop, I look at it and I go, they yeah maybe, but not that much. People just aren't clicking for their content. But they are claiming that Facebook, they the primary use of Facebook is to look at news passwords, people's primary source of news is, and um, and they Google is negotiating with the government, but Facebook said basically, um, Facebook's argument is, if you we um, if it costs you money, it, no, Facebook's saying that it costs us money for you to host for us to host your news, so we're not going to be paying you any more because you are already getting paid and we're hosting or we're featuring all the billing fees. But if you were saying that it all it is costing you more money to make your news that is unpopular in the scheme of things. And um, it is, if it is unpopular and it is not wanted um, or not, not watched as much as you claim it is to be watched, but it still costs you heaps of money, to have it on our platform, then uh, we won't have it. So they banned all the they banned all news. Like the biggest for source of news is like um, the Batuta Advocate, Friendly Geordies, and the Chaser. Like just comedy news pages. Even if you ever if you could even call them like if if you wanted to call them news pages, it is just a really really fascinating. To see that the entire landscape has shifted because of this, and um, honestly, I'm against the anti the bargaining media code because I believe like paying people not what they're worth is one thing, right? And if it was just, I find it weird that also that there would be such a law that's just been such a large part of the media for the last few weeks, being like, we have to have this law, we just have to. All right, what's in the law? It gives us more money as media companies. Anything else? It gives us more money as media companies. Like I uh, hearing it will actually get them paid it'll it forcing the like Facebook and Google to pay for the news. I don't believe that. Like I know for a fact they're already getting paid, and I understand that there's a fair amount of people that don't actually know how much they would get paid when you do get paid. How much are they worth of what they're getting paid? They just see like, wait, Facebook's not paying Channel 7? Peter Mitchell's not getting his paycheck from chat from Facebook? Um, and they're going with it. I understand that, but I just... it And it's a shame that the only thing you hear about it is it'll get the media companies paid for their content. And uh, I just look at it and I'm like, well, there's obviously more to this law. And I believe when I looked through Google's, like, oh, sign this petition sort of tab that they kept popping up, um, it looked like that they were asking for permission to have access to the algorithms, which I think is a horrifying horrifying update and um i think it's a really really grave look at what the state of mainstream media is at because if they have to be asking for the algorithms because they're losing out on radio to pod to independent podcasts because they're losing out on tv to independent news channels and to streaming channel streaming websites as well they are in big trouble like they i don't think they will you always have your main five around i think you'll I think it'd be tough to see ABC, SBS, Channel 9, Channel 7, and Channel 10 all go. Maybe SB, I'd imagine SBS followed by Channel 10, and then you'd still have 9, 7, and ABC. I just can't imagine Australia without having those five channels, I guess. Oh, look, we made it to like just under 30 minutes. That's a win. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, I think it's a terrifying code. And I think the fact that they could possibly even be asking for the algorithm and also getting a response. And I don't know how much you can actually truly blame the politicians, right? You know, they're sure they're getting paid out by the News Corp in some aspects, I have to imagine they will be, uh, by lobby groups and donations and public appearances and just good press. Like, considering the news, like the strength hold that the Herald Sun alone has on Victoria, basically throwing it's been they've been throwing everything at Dan Andrews for literally a year almost every headline I look at 
If it's about, if it's not about COVID numbers, it's about Dan Andrews. And if it's not about Dan Andrews, it's about sport. And if it's not about sport, it's about one of like the three grisly murders that murder suicides that happened in the past. Yeah. So, um, like they just keep throwing Dan Andrews under the trying to throw at him. I find it hard for him to be winning into three third term. I think I would vote for him again, but um, I think that's re- irrelevant to the point. Um, I, yeah, I think so. I think that looking at that, I have to imagine that News Corp is actually scared of the Silicon Valley companies and they're trying to pose the Silicon Valley companies as, I'll be honest, they're private companies, so they're entitled to do what they want if they're allowed to operate inside Australia. And especially social media platforms are so weirdly defined in free speech, in free market, what is yours, what is theirs. I personally think if your words are yours, but, you know... um. You own the house, they own the land. If that makes sense. Um, like, you know, I think, honestly, we're only a few years away from hearing the castle actually being used in court for an argument about why free speech matters. And Australia doesn't have free speech laws. We have we have hate speech laws, so technically there is no free speech. In, like, a weird, vague sense. That's like... I don't really, I don't, no, no, I don't really. I definitely don't support hate speech, but it's just weird to think about it in an abstract concept of such as like that. Um, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. This, I'm glad, it's interesting seeing that people aren't, news is not as used as much, probably because of the best, because they're not getting info, um, notifications from Channel 7 and news.com. Um, it is interesting seeing how everything is sort of panned out for them. And I, I really do hope that Facebook wins. In worst case, I reckon Facebook will just be sent off. So we won't be allowed to be used in Australia, which I think will be even worse, personally. I think that's such an overreaction to, oh no, then they won't pay the news companies more than what they are worth to the companies. So, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, I will just wait and see.